Hi, I'm Michelle. The Takumi or Innovator I want to introduce to you today makes this. Can you guess what it is? It has a very unique shape, don't you think? In fact, it's a highly sophisticated freezer. But how does it work? Well, let's go and find out. The company that developed the cooler is based in Tsubame, Niigata Prefecture. The company's main business is manufacturing small home electrical goods, such as lighting products, vacuum cleaners, microwave ovens, small TVs, all things we might use every day. And then this. It looks like an ordinary cooler box. Uh, you see, there's a freezing device called a Stirling cooler that's installed inside, right here. This is our Takumi, Kazuya Sone. What you see inside this box is the freezer just mentioned. It is called a Stirling cooler. Let's see how it works. You press the button on the demonstration device, in no time, frost accumulates. The temperature also drops rapidly. In just four minutes, it reaches minus 100 degrees Celsius. Now let's see where this cooler is actually used. This is the Akita Red Cross Blood Center. Donated blood is stored here and delivered to hospitals when required. The box here is a sterling cooler and it is being used to transport the blood. Up until now, ice and dry ice have been used, but it partially froze the blood and was unable to maintain a stable temperature. The high-precision temperature control feature of the Stirling cooler is used to advantage. The cooler is also expected to be utilized in other fields as well. It's being used to keep life science samples refrigerated and also in research to treat cancer by freezing and necrotizing the cancer cells. Let's see how a Stirling cooler works. The Stirling cooler is filled with helium gas. When the pistons move, pressure rises, creating heat. This heat is discharged using a heat exchanger. At the same time, the gas has expanded in the upper part of the cylinder and takes the heat from the surrounding atmosphere. It is through this mechanism that this upper part functions as a refrigeration system. By repeating this over and over, it is able to cool at a rapid speed. The basic principle was invented by a Scotsman, Robert Stirling, about 200 years ago. It has been considered an efficient system in theory, so the Takumi thought of applying it in a cooler. but he faced many challenges in development. A key issue was the precise clearance between the cylinder and the piston moving inside it. When the clearance is too great, large amounts of helium gas escape and it is not able to cool efficiently. But when the clearance is too narrow, the piston does not move smoothly. The Takumi sought to find the ideal clearance size over five years of trial and error. He then finally arrived at 0.01 millimeter. This is 10 times the precision required in a car engine. The Takumi developed his own bespoke machine to achieve the necessary clearance precision. And with that, he succeeded in mass-producing a Stirling cooler. Uh, 
If I gave up, that would have been the end. I just had to keep going forward. If there's even a faint hint of light, I will aim for it. Then you can see different things, come across new doors that open. So I always try to maintain that uh, go-ahead spirit. 